Hi, I'm here at Tokusayama, and maybe you can just make out behind me. There's a beautiful textile there. It's all embroidered. It's a couple of phoenixes flying. The entire thing is this exquisite embroidery. It's obviously uh, vegetable dyed, which dates it back quite a while, maybe a hundred years at least. And uh, incredible handiwork. Uh, very hard to come by nowadays. It's a bit worn. It's out in the elements, and then you can see by looking at it that it's been out in the elements a lot. And that was the tradition in Gion Festival, is they'd buy these priceless treasures and they'd just put them out in the sun and the rain. Now some conservationists, professional conservationists came from museums in the 90s and said, what are you doing? This stuff is priceless, you've got to preserve it. And so they've been making a lot of copies ever since. And so a lot of floats don't put out the originals, they put out the copies. And then this very interesting um, kind of controversy has ensued because the copies also cost a fortune and the copies are brand new. So what, what do you do? Do you put out the originals, which are in a fair state of disrepair um, and kind of headed in that direction anyway, or do you put out the replicas, which are brand new and colored, colorful and um, and each Yamaboko, each Chonai, which is the neighborhood that um, administrates the Yamaboko, each one decides on their own. And some say, oh, we've got to conserve the, the old priceless textiles and artwork. And other ones say, well, no, it's always, we've always put them out in the elements. We should keep doing that. And other ones like the brand new ones best because it's sort of like having new clothes. You sort of like to show off your new things. So it's interesting to walk around the festival and see uh, what approach each float is, is taking. And uh, I think it kind of strikes fear in art conservationist hearts <laughs> probably to see it. Uh, and of course each of us, we have our own opinions too. Um, so please enjoy that as you uh, walk around the festival and, and see in what kind of state their artwork is in, or the originals, or the replicas, or a new, one, a brand new one that um, they've commissioned. To find out more, please check out guionfestival.org.